What is up, it's your boy J&W Boss in the building. We are back here for another episode of AOE. And after uh, last week, we're going to figure out what Plan Z is. 24-7 rules in effect. We got, we're right here in Chicago, Illinois. Let's get the show started. And not a bad way to kick off the show. So we're going to kick it off with another one of the first round matchups in the AOA All-Star Championship Tournament as Austin Wallace with his enforcer. Tyson Young is set to take on Dwayne Frost. And Tyson Young also has a matchup later tonight against Sean Wright. So, because it was supposed to be Sean Wright versus Austin Wallace in the first round, but, uh, right, apparently he told the guys, listen, you know, I'm A. <laughs> he parked out. That's the best way to say The boys just parked out. Got him and Wallet. He got him and uh, Sean switched out with different opponents. In hope, Wallace in hope. This is in hope that Wall that Wright can get eliminated before him. Which, of course, he would hope that, especially saying that he didn't beat him at last stand. Again, once again, the dude didn't beat him at last stand. So, of course, you would hope that uh, Sean doesn't really, you know make it to the next round. Anyway, there he is. Not that they're going to be debuting Dwayne Frost. So let's see, uh, let's just see what this guy can do. Oh, man. Here we go. My God, that's, Dwayne Frost is just a, just a Built man, I mean, your God. I mean, Dwayne Frost making his AOA debut. This dude got some, from what I've heard, from all accounts, this dude got some power behind him. This is some straight up power, straight up strength behind him. And I bet money he said he's gonna come here. He said he's here in AOA to make an impact. Everybody feels chill. And here we go. Oh. Explosiveness of this man. It's crazy. Let's see what Dwayne Frost can do. I mean, he has a good opportunity right here. You know, they're making a debut. And he has, you know, the an opportunity in front of him to become the, the next uh, or the first ever AOA All-Star Champion. And of course, the yeah, ice has something in mind regarding the, uh, the tag team championship because he did say last week that he would address that after he stripped Nate Shield the monster of those same tag titles. Thank goodness. Oh. And wait a minute. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Come on. The drop kick didn't really phase him though. That drop kick not really phasing Frost. Just about to just manhand. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Yo. Yo. He's squatting with him. He's squatting with him. That suplex. Taking him down. I was going straight to work on the head and neck of of Wallace, and th that is probably not something that uh, he was hoping for. That was not, was not it. Was not something that dude was hoping for. To get the thing started, and again, just going to work on the head and neck of Wallace here. Wow. He's ready. This dude is fired up, man. This dude is hype. This dude is ready to go. First round matchup in the AOA All-Star Championship Tournament. Look at this. Oh, and nice back trip by Wallace taking down Frost. Wallace feels cocky. And, oh, my God. And he the straight up face planting him. And now, look at this. Now, Frost locking in a submission. Locking in that submission to Wallace. Wallace is in trouble, but no, he's able to fight out of that. Wallace is a clever individual. Oh, my. Yo, the slap, though. Yo, the slap in the belly to belly. Wallace is being put to work here, or he was, and there goes Tyson Young with a distraction. Would give Austin Wallace an opening. Had an opening for a minute to at least attack this big man. Just try to do something. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. He's trying to go for a power bomb. Well, I like, nah, dog, we're good. But uh, he still got him. Look at this. 
Oh god. Oh my god. Again, just holding him up. Just leaving him up in the air. Yo. Yo, the dude needs to chill. Oh my goodness. Dwayne Brown with that delayed vertical. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this. He's, he's, he's gunning. He's going back. Here we go. Oh, that spear. Just the, the crushing wallet. Good gosh, man. That spear. Straight up crushing wallets in the elbow drop. A fraud this game at this dude. On a freaking mission, my man. Good lord. Ross is killing him. Here we go. It looks like he's about to set him up. It looks like he's about to put this man away. And oh, rake in the eye. That rake in the eye by by uh by Wallace, I'm sorry. Rake in the eye by Wallace. And now Wallace got a little bit of an opening here, but oh my goodness, that flapjack. Taking him down and now, oh wait a minute, oh wait a minute, now Tyson Young grabbing a steel chair. Look at this, ooh, oh, it seems like every time Wallace trying to get something going on this big man, it doesn't happen, and wait a minute, now Frothy gonna take the chair that was meant for Wallace and just use it, and use it to his advantage, oh my god, straight to the head. That's kind of what you get when you bring an illegal object into the ring. That's exactly what you get. <laughs> Y'all tried to provide the distraction. That did not work at all. Oh, God. This dude, this Wallace has been getting put to work. And again with the rake in the eyes, though. Oh, wait a minute. Trying to go for a kick to the midsection. Very off target there. Now, oh, one of that big man out there, Tyson Young. Imagine... Yo, imagine if Young and, and Frost make this in the second round. Good God! Oh my God! Frost is killing this man! And, and Wallace is busted open. I bet Sean is loving this, though. I mean, <laughs> I bet he is loving this. I mean, it all comes full circle, bro. You mean, you don't attack someone, beat him up, and bust him up. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta go for a spear. Oh, that disrespect, though. That disrespect. Wallace with the high knee. Wallace might just want to stop showboating right now. He might want to stop showboating right now and, and focus on the guy who just about put him away a couple of minutes ago. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. Got Wallace off into the corner. And look at that. Sending him hard into the other one. Oh! Ran full force. Wait a minute. Oh, got him up overhead. The power of this guy is just insane. This dude is going off. This dude is going straight off right here. Frog is about to break this dude in half. Potentially break this dude in half. Spear. Breaking him clean in half. Good lord. And he's not even. Wait a minute. Wallace getting something going here. Well, we're going to slide outside the ring. Good grief. That's what he needed. That's what Wallace needed to do. And it looks like Young's trying to give him, you know, a bit of a pep talk here. But wait a minute, it looks like Frost, Frost is out there. Frost is not having it. Wallace is getting the heck up out of Dodge. And, oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Well, he tried. Tried to keep attacking. That didn't, that didn't work at all. Like, at all. Oh, rip. Send him rip first right into the step. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait a minute. Now, there we go. Now, he's the young getting involved again but with the loud Wallace to take advantage. Look at this. That accounted four. Five. Oh, trying to go for an axe handle. Ooh. Four. Taking him down. Right that account of six. Four again by Wallace. Seven. You're kidding me. You're freaking kidding me. Send him off into the barricade. Eight. Oh. Oh, that close line. Nine. He's got a count of nine. And Wallace is able to make it back in. Wallace advances that slot on the gun, man. Wallace advances to the next round by the skin of his teeth, bro. Wow. wow. And he was putting this man to work. Frost was putting him to work. Dang, man. Wallace advances, though. 
Nate Shields, just the man I was looking for. Listen, I just want to let you know that tonight, you, <laughs> you're gonna experience what Plan Z is all about. Oh, really? How is that, huh? How exactly am I gonna experience what Plan Z is about? Well, pretty simple. I'm gonna step over here so in case you start thinking of anything. But it's real simple. I'm gonna put you on a match. But uh, since you wanna mess around and bully everybody here in AOA, how about I have you take on someone who is not from AOA? Someone not from AOA, huh? Someone who's not from AOA? Well, who exactly do you have in mind? I don't know. Well, I know, but that's gonna be for you to figure out at all a part of Plan Z. Better knuckle up. Good luck. Mm. Time to move on. We got tag team action as Wolf Fat is set to take on Blake and Murphy, which would be an interesting situation. Now, we haven't heard from Z yet regarding. Yeah, the whole, the whole tag team title situation. I mean, because they did vacate the belts earlier. But uh, let's see. Let's just let's just see what they got going. I don't know. But I guess these two teams, they're, they're gonna, these teams are going to be out to impress the guys over the next couple of weeks. They already have some uh, big plans uh, for next level regarding the tag team championship. And what about Nate Shield? I mean, he's taking on someone from outside of AOA. Wait, what? Hey. It's a part of Plan Z, but I bet money ain't finished yet. And you also got the 24-7 rule in place, you know, for the for the uh, AOA World Championship. We'll maybe see who will be willing to uh, take a gander and capitalize on that. But if anything else, we have uh, Spike and Burn here, former tag team champion. I'm pretty sure they feel that this is a great opportunity for them to get the belt back. They regain their AOA tag team championship. So, I don't know, they keep doing good over the next couple of weeks. They may, I don't know, maybe in contendership or, or something. I don't know what we got going on for the tag team uh, championships at the moment. We're from ZI. Apparently, we're going to be hearing from ZI later on. And he's going to give his, uh, his opinion and his thoughts on it. Anyways, here come Blake and Murphy. Making their way down to the ring. These two teams are set. They're ready to uh, they're ready to rock and roll here against Wolfpack. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now look at this. Look like Blake and Murphy about to get this screw. They're even making a beeline towards the ring here. That's Spike. Oh. Let me get in. Just up top, and here we go. Looks like the matchup. The ref decided to go. Screw this. Going to bring the bell. Matchup on the way. Blake and Murphy versus Wolfpack. Oh. There we go, nice move by Blake taking down fight action. Hmm, action is underway. We kind of got this kick things off a little bit of a wild start here. It's gonna be all good here. Here we go, send him off the rope. Oh, that belly is a belly suplex by Blake. Taking him down. Looks like Blake and Murphy are really gonna try to get their feet wet here in the tag team division. Nice counter. Oh, that's how we can rock. Wow. Fight and Burns are wilding up here. Look at this. Right straight up. Looking at Blake. Oh, caught with a drop kick. Nice drop kick. As Wolfpack proceeds to go to work. Spike got Blake up. Gonna send him off straight off into the corner here. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, nice body slam. Nice scoop slam by Spike. And look at this. Now an inverted suplex. So, so Blake and Blake is in huge trouble here. I mean, it hasn't really got anything going here. Against Spike and Burn, who they know what they're doing as attacking. This team ain't no flops inside these rings, yo. I mean, like I said, they were the former, you know, AOA tag team champions, but now look at this. Now look like we're about to see Blake and Murphy do a little bit of offense going here. It looks like Blake with a constant kick over and over, straight to the midsection uppercut. Dead on the jaw. Straight dead on the jaw. Here we go. I'm gonna throw him off. Oh, look at this. Ooh, looks like he jumped up into the corner, but nope, burn like nah, bro. You good? You are good to go. Let me go ahead and go to the top here. Look at that burn flying for you. Oh, nice six thirty set on 
taking him down. Going to go straight for the cover. Why not? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, two counts. Spike was able to play defense, though. So who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a possibility that, you know, Spike and Braun could have won that match right there. Yes. And Murphy's just in the ring, just there in a hole into the watch. Just looking at it. He's just straight up looking dead on. Adam, look at this. Oh. Getting a shot in, Blake knocking the referee down with getting Murphy enough time to, to clear the ring before the referee five count. Come on, man. You ain't gotta do all that. So it kicked in the side of the head. That looks like Blake and Murphy are about to go in and take control of this matchup here. And again, what a great way for these teams to kind of develop themselves. Here comes Murphy. Murphy gets the tag. Nightmare. Oh! Driving the knees straight down. Good job by Murphy. Straight into the cover. Here we go. One, two. We're on a two count by Murphy. He gets off the two count, trying to go for a sliding drop because that didn't work. Oh, he caught with that knee though. Getting caught with the knee straight to the head. And now Wolfpack, former tag champ, about to get back in control of this thing and the bet money. The, the, all of these tag teams, everything's just wide open now. Ooh, kick straight to the knee. That's how you do it. That's how you really put someone to work here. Oh, and kicked in midsection. Here we go. Look at this. On the top. Hey, he's all the way on the other side of the ring. Dr. Kill, got him. Straight into the side, straight into the midsection. Spike and Burns is on low. Oh, let me try to target there. It looks, it looks like it's all good. Spike back up to his feet. Get caught with a drop kick. And I like how they're, they're staying in between. They're trying to doing their best to keep Blake and Murphy out of their corner. It looks like Blake and Murphy haven't really gotten anything going here. They haven't got a lot going here. Just Spike and Burns is wearing them down. Ooh, got to go for a drop kick. That didn't work. Oh, and a huge clothesline. Look at this. They drag him out to the center. Kick straight to the spine. Um, Blake and Murphy, they could really, they could really get some pop in here, you know, in, in this tag team matchup. And again, the goal of these teams is to probably try to do a good job and impress the ice here. I mean, for whatever plans that you have, that they, that he have for these tag teams. Oh, nice spine buster. Nice sit out spine buster. Bring to the cover. Ooh, kick out. Very close kick out. Look at this. Oh, tripping the leg. Tripping the leg, picking him back up. What's he got going? Look at this. Payway kick. Straight to the top of the head. Here we go. Spike is wilding up here. They're going to really pick up some momentum. Nice try to go for a cross body. Knees caught him. Didn't catch him with the rest of his body, man. Whatever. Worked. Worked like a charm. Did what you had to do. Ooh, nice super kick. Straight to the jaw. Here we go. We're going to tag in. Going to tag in burn here. And look at this. Oh! The Everbarn is locked in. Everbarn is locked in. And Murphy is in trouble here. Murphy is in trouble. He's, yo, he's hanging on. Yo, Murphy is hanging on for dear life here. But nope. Murphy got no choice but to tap out. Good math. Solid action. The Wolfpack doing the thing. Doing the dang gun thing. And picking up the victory. Over Blake and Murphy. Wolfpack gaining some momentum here tonight. Congratulations to these guys. Blake and Murphy, come back and try again. It's going to be all good, but congratulations on this evening to Wolfpack. I mean, Demon in the locker room. Whoa. Do you think you're going, man? Dude, the championship is right through that door. It's 24 7 rule, man. I'm about to go. Let me go. No. Get back. Just wait. Wait, what can I wait for? Why do I gotta wait? And the champ and the champion is right through that door. Dude, we have him at next level. Ooh, calm down, man. Plus, you already got killed by them once. All they're just gonna do is kill you again if you try to take that championship. Man, screw this, I'm going in. No, you get back. Just wait. 
We're gonna get him eventually. You know what, man? Sometimes I think you're real stupid. Ooh! The heck was that about? Stuff is getting heated? Yeah, stuff is getting heated. It's, uh, huh. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, stuff is getting, is, is getting heated. There we go. Oh, uh, wow. The slap, though. The, the, the slap that the demon gave Reaper. Whoa, okay. Maybe they're getting heated in the back. Good grief. All right. Well, now for the debut of a very bizarre woman here in AOA. Angelina Spear. Uh, this, this woman is absolutely freaky. I got nothing. She's supposed to take on Emma. But I, I got nothing on, on who she is and what this is. And, uh, <laughs> she's, this, this is about to be uh, interesting <laughs> to see what someone like uh, Angelina Spear can do here in, uh, in, in, in AOA. Um, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm pretty sure the women's cha AOA Women's Championship strategy is looking on. But I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see, see where this goes and how this plays out and all of that. I'm curious. Let's get to it. And Emma makes her way down to the ring. We're going to talk about a way for you to really kind of get yourself on the map here. Emma coming out here with all sorts of confidence, all sorts of swagger about her. But, uh, hey, this is the first time you've seen her here in AOA. I mean, so you can't really, you know, you don't want to come at this whole thing too cocky, if you know what I'm saying. You don't want to come out here too cocky and too arrogant because then that's not going to really put you in a good spot now, is it? I mean, you're going to come out here and be, you know, cocky, be... Do all that. Fine, good to her, but uh, hopefully they're able to back it up in the ring. And I'm pretty sure Emma is a very uh, valiant competitor in her own right. But uh, I don't know. I think I think we're uh, we're uh, far, long gone, far from you know the next door neighbor chick when it comes to Angelina Spear. I'm uh, sitting there showboating, but Angelina's not even wasting any time. Just going right at Emma right out the gate. Dumping the daylight out of her matchup underway in the dropkick. Good gosh. Oh my gosh. Em Angelina just going straight at Emma here. And look at this. Oh my goodness. They've been, they've been back to show that splash. That splash. That suplex. She just came out the gate. Yo, like, she came just straight out the gate, dropkick right to the back. Good lord. Good, got the aggression that she is showing here. Just beating the daylight out of Emma here. Like, this is why you don't come into this thing too cocky. And there we go, Emma gets a jawbreaker going. Let's see if she can get some, uh, get something going here. Gets a couple of chops on, gets a couple of strikes going. Emma's like, Emma again, uh, feeling cocky. Remember what happened the last time? Yep, well, you're about to figure out now. Oh, cutting her down to, just. Beating the daylight out of him. I, man, oh my goodness, that super kick. Dead spot on. Right to the head. This woman is absolutely demented. Emma don't even know where she is. And look at this. Oh my god. Hey, wait a minute, what the? Look at you all right. I am barely out here. Look at this. Either way, either scout competition or just wanted to help, but uh, no. <laughs> Angelina just shut that whole thing down, man. Good grief. Angelina just came out here on a mission just to just absolutely destroy. I don't think she finished. Nope, nope, she is not done yet. Emma just, just got planted with that, that jawbreaker, and now Angelina's going to continue what she started. And look at that. Oh, shit, straight to the side of the head now. And here's uh, Emma's in. Emma is just, just left beaten, battered, and bang, just kicked straight to the face. Oh my 
God, oh Jesus, he's, he's firing up. He's firing up. Here we go. Got her up overhead again. Oh, catches her with that jawbreaker once again. Angelina is not playing here, yo. <laughs> Women Rockster, look out big time. Good and wait a minute, look at here in the back. We have, look like we have Monster and, and Nate Shield, or phew, Monster and Tony Woods, my bad. Monster and Tony Woods going at it. And the championship being contested under 24 7 rule. Look at this all in a suplex by Woods, straight to the table. And now gonna go to work on the arm. And they try to wear him down, gonna try to go for the cover. Here we go. Here comes the referee. One, two, we may have a new champion. No. No, 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 we do not. Frustration for Woods, we can need to bail. Now we got that television. Oh, try to use it as a weapon, didn't really work. Oh, there we go, we're gonna pull the TV out of his hand, catching them with a spear. Oh God. Oh, try to, try to use a trash can as a weapon. That didn't really work, but man, straight to a punch that did. Plant some straight on the canvas. Oh God, wait a minute. Look at this, man, grab. Nick, I'm gonna grab Tony Woods. Looks like he's gonna maybe try to. Ooh! I say he's probably gonna try to put some more damage and get right there. That's how you. That's how you do it. Gonna drive him back in the head onto like this hard grate out here. Oh God! Looks like they're coming out right back out here. I mean Woods and Hawk are competing for this the AOA World Championship with this contestant under 24 seven rules here. Check it out. Oh, Herbstrom straight up on the stage. Driving him head first, right up on the stage. Look at this. Oh man, he got him up. Yo, he got this boy up. Look at this. The leaping tombstone, right on the stage, straight into the cover. Here we go. One, two, and that's three. And Martha retains the world champion. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at this. <clears throat> Looks like we're about to be zoned by, joined by the ice here. And apparently we, we heard that we were gonna be hearing from him regarding a few, you know, situations. So I'm, I'm curious to, to hear what the ice is gonna say regarding the tag team, you know, championships. And I guess we're, we're about to figure that news out. So let's hear what the ice have to say. Right, right here in Chicago, loving this man. I think he's back. I'm pretty sure he's happy to be at his job. Let's, uh, let's hear what the ice gotta say. What is up, everyone in Chicago? Listen, last week I told you all that there were going to be a Plan Z in store for Nate Shield, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Also, Monster World Championship will be contested under 24-7 rules, and, well, that has already been attempted to happen by a numerous superstar. A2J, I'm working on a special opponent for you and you should find out within the coming weeks exactly who oh, wait a minute here comes wait a minute what the heck is Kazari doing out here oh, what is he doing coming out here I mean they have to just out here just explaining you know what's going to be going down as far as the United States Championship and the, the tag team championship our way to James his, his opportunity his next challenge are going to be waiting for him you're going to find out who his challenge is in a couple of weeks and, and then as far as the tag team championship, just he putting all tag team champ all tag teams on notice, not just here in LA. So I mean, I wonder who does he have, you know, what what tag teams are we gonna see? But here comes Austin Kazar. My question is what is he doing out here? What is he want? What is his whole purpose of being out here? I mean he's not even set to compete tonight, so what the heck is going on? Why is he out here? And we're about to find out in a couple of minutes. It's all right, ain't it? We're about to see what Kazarian's out here for. You know, I hear you do all this talking about what you're going to do with the tag team division and what you're going to do with the United States Championship and how the World Championship is 24 7. But my question is, what are you going to do about me? Because personally, I want to rematch against James. Black, and I know you're the man talking about Plan Z. Yes, I know he's in a match already, but put him in a match against me. Okay, I'll do that. Even though 
you know, I already had him in a match. And you apparently knew that, but fine, fine. If you want to get caught with a blackout in midair again, I'll put you in a match. Also, you have one other thing. A match against Jay Morgan at next level. Consider it part of plan V. Good luck tonight, and good luck at next level. Kazarian. And it looks like the match is about to go ahead and get started right now. Jay Black is starting to make his way down to the ring. And last week, him and Kazarian put on a banger of a match. But I think the problem is Kazarian got a little bit too over them. I mean, to hit him with that AK driver twice. And then he still didn't want to put him away. So then, of course, he just was about to punish him from that moment on. But then got made a mistake with the high risk. He caught with a blackout again. That time out of midair, at that moment, he was just, he was just such a whale, yo. I mean, there was really no saving, uh, no saving, um, Kazarian at that point. I mean, I call it that blackout out of, out of midair. What, what a great sight to see, but what a great victory for this young man, Jane Black, you know, in, in his AOA debut. I'm sure, I'm sure Jane Black is, you know, is excited, you know, about the chance to, I mean, we, we spoke to James, I had a chance to speak with Jane Black, and he told me, hey, that was just the first win among many for him here in AOA. So he plans on, he plans on making an impact here. Here we go, matchup is underway. This is a rematch from last week in Kazarian and, and Black getting, starting this thing off, and good calling over his higher up here. And I like how Kazarian, it looks like Kazarian gonna take this thing a little bit slower than he has in the past. He's, Gonna go ahead and take this thing slower, kind of, kind of try to wear him down here. Jane Black got that side headlock locked there. Now got a, got a, looks like he got a wrist lock. Like he's already counting into a hammer lock, and here we go. And the, just the technical prowess of the entire, oh, kind of pushing him off, so a little bit of disrespect there. And now it looks like Kazarian gonna use his time and just be methodical in his approach instead of just going, just going all in, just going. Crazy here. Ooh. Ooh. A little slap. Here we go. Drop it. Dead center. Right in his chest. Kazarian looks like he's about to go ahead and take the early advantage here. And, oh, Compton boots to the face that time. And Black is going to go ahead and take a breather in the outside of the ring. Uh, oh, got to get a, got to get a punch in before he can get back in all the way. And now he's back in, but Cesaro is right, right there. Elbow, chopped to the chest. Here we go. Ooh, that's leg drop. Oh, revert, leg drop, what am I talking about? Reverse Russian leg sweep, sorry, my bad. That's the leg drop. Now it looks like Black is about to go in and get some momentum flying for himself here. Look at this, gonna hang him up. Ooh, trying to right over the top row. Springboard moonsault. Hold him with that springboard moonsault. Straight out the gate, straight into the cover. One, two. Oh, almost had that. Almost had that one. Oh, call. Look at that. Oh, he's trying to go over the elbow. Oh, caught, caught his lower back because Arnold was slowly getting up to his feet. Man. Something to the side now. Now it looks like. Jay Black is about to go ahead and get something going here for himself. And send him all straight into the turnbuckle. But now Kazarian is right there, ready to rock and roll. Oh, nice drop kick. Nice drop kick by Kazarian taking him down. Taking Black down. And now Kazarian looks like he's about to go ahead and continue this thing. Nice jawbreaker. Oh, stop. Maybe. There we go. Now it looks like he has a game plan here. I don't think he has a game plan here. Gonna go ahead and work on the, the head and neck rolling him and then there, there we go, that cross face. Oh, like a cross face locked in. Gonna just try to wear him down here. Ooh. I guess worked in in the check. Maybe he didn't notice that was a submission. But look at this. Stepping back. Shining with it. Oh, look at that. Now Kazarian starting to really kind of fire up here, starting to get himself psyched up. I hope he doesn't get himself too psyched up because uh, what happened last time, it didn't end up well for him, but there we go. That flying clothesline, taking him down and waving out Kazarin on the apron. I uh, probably remember that mistake from last week. Probably remember his mistakes uh, 
from, from, from last week and probably advised to get it. There we go, nice leg drop. There we go, because I'm putting a whole lot of focus, a whole lot of tension on the head and neck, but now I'm going to switch it up and lock in the arm bar. Got an arm bar locked in now. That's Kazarian. He hasn't really been working on the arms. I don't really think that was going to work, but I think he just did it as a, a way to kind of wear down black and he's back up on his feet, though. Oh, got to go for a, a clothesline, a jumping clothesline that we've seen him hit, but landing on it looks like he's landing on the arm wrong when he did it. Look at that. Oh, sends him to the outside. Now, we've seen him try to hit this move last week. Is it going to be successful this time around? Yes, it is. The baseball slide. Through the rope, through the middle rope, the baseball slide, and instead of straight into the barricade, with the going hand, just beating the daylight out of Black here. I mean, Black hasn't really gotten a lot of offense going, and now he is. There we go. Now it looks like Black is about to fire up back in this thing here. And, oh! Nice slam, just putting him straight down. Where's that account of five? That account of six now. Wait a minute. I got 10 seconds to get back into the ring. We're going to count of seven. Look at that. Ooh. Gets him right in the knee. Ooh. Out the back first. Right in the apron. We're going to count of eight. Yeah, we got to get back in the ring here. Nine. And both of them made it back in before the count of ten. Matchup continues. But Kazarian is proceeding to continue to kick the crap out of the poor man. I agree. Look at this, and it's another jawbreaker. We've seen him bust that out several times over the course of this matchup. Got him up over his shoulder. Look at this, nice flat jack. Really trying to work on the head. I mean, you really see him try to work on the head, try to get a running elbow drop. That didn't work. Black misses with his strike. It's, it's hitting the back. Ooh, there we go. Look at this. Oh, and nice DDT. Ooh, up to the back of the head. He's really going to work on that head and face area of, of Black here. Man, Black has been in huge trouble. I mean, ever since Kazarian kind of slowed his pace down a bit. Oh, he's straight to the gun. I think the problem is last week he tried to wrestle at, at James Black's speed, which is kind of a break net real quick speed. Oh, shot to the midsection. He was kicked to the midsection. It looks like Black now is about to gain control of this thing here. Mm. Oh, constant strikes. Here we go. This is where Black can really start going to work here and really start to fire back in this matchup. Then I'm off into the corner and he's straight to the midsection. And we're going to see it again. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Really letting him have it. And they hit straight to the midsection. Yeah, Black is feeling it here. Really, he knows that this is his opportunity. This is his chance to really be able to make a name for himself and by beating Kazarian two weeks in a row. Oh! Well, he's trying to go for a back suplex of some sort, but uh, he's counted out of that like, no, that'll be good. And up top, that elbow drop. Caught him with the elbow, straight into the cover. One, two, ooh. Little call. Kazarian thought he had that one. I don't blame him. I, I would think I would have that one too after the amount of damage that he done. Wait a minute, look at this. The strength of Black on display with the power ball. Straight into the cover. One, two. Oh. Black almost had that one himself. Oh, shot to the back of the head. Shot straight to the back of the head. Look at this. Got him up over his shoulder. Throw the GTS. Look at this. Straight into a penalty kick, straight to the, straight to the stall. He's taking it. Crowd feeling it. I'm feeling it. Here we go. His arm probably knows his move all too well. Oh! Trying to go for that high knee. Didn't get it. And then he came. Driver. Caught him with it. He got him that time. AK Driver. Putting him down. And he's stunned. He got him up. He's gonna hit it again. Wait a minute. Nope. Not that time. Overzealous. Your boy got a little overzealous. Here we go. Gotta go for something there. Didn't work. Blackout got him. 
Blackout got him. Hit the cover. Two. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo. He almost had that one. He almost straight up had that one. Oh, you fifth drop. Look at that. Heading up top. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it looked like he, because I tried to kip up there when he did. He just landed right, he just got caught right in the back of the leg there. Here we go, now Kazarian firing up, firing up. He's not ready to go in there. Wait, what? what? About five seconds. There we go. Here we go. Now he's, now he's, now he's lighting it up. Drop kick. Drop kick by Kazarian. Ooh. That was straight to the back of the head now. And look at this. That scoop snake. Now, wait a minute. Now, Kazarian's heading out to the apron now. I really would probably question. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Black out mid air. Black out mid air. Caught him with it. Black is feeling it because already did not learn from last week. He was being fine and being cautious at first. Oh! Look at this. Oh, trying to go for that clothesline. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Completely misses that clothesline. And this time, Jake, he's caught. He's caught. Black is caught. Black is in trouble here. Will he tap out? Is he going to stay alive in this thing? It's black and there we go. Oh. Oh. They were to escape that. That was a desperate situation. Look at this. Kazari encounters. Kazari encounters. What a math is this? Jawbreaker. Oh gosh. Now he's quite now he's watching himself here. He black is starting to get back up to his feet here. What's a match? What a match is there between these two? What a rematch is there between these two men? Good grief. These two guys are just going straight in. Oh man, Kazari, look at this. He's not in a good spot right now. A huge jaw oh cutter. I was about to say that was jawbreaker or not. That was a cutter. Straight up cutter and it looks like uh looks like black is Kind of hurt here. I they either landed wrong from that flat line or something, but here we go. Springboard frog flash right to the back. We've seen him hit that numerous times. And now he's gonna try for it again. Gonna try to try for that move again. And he has it locked in tight. He has it locked in real good. And after all the damage he had taken to the head and neck here, and Black got no choice but to tap out. Kazarian. Avenging himself from last week picks up the victor. Kazari wins. That money is happy. Oh man. That money is happy about that win, but I don't think he really is about is caring about James Black right now. It's just continuing the assault after the match. And, oh, that's a suplex. That suplex is just continually just to wear Black down. Match is over, man. You already won the match. You proved your point. And look at this. The springboard frost slash. That springboard frost slash from Kazarian. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. I mean, Black is like out on his feet here. And look at this. And he catches him again with that AK driver putting him down. Kazarian making a statement with that. Well, Kazarian at least got the ball rolling for himself. Now let's see if one of these two can get the ball rolling for their cell as they head, potentially one of these two, heading into the next round of the AOA All-Star Championship Tournament as Sean Wright is set to take on the enforcer of, oh, well, Austin Wallace, Tyson Young. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Tyson Young from behind attacking, attacking Sean Wright on the ramp. And I bet money this is... This, this is probably Wallace's idea. Bet money, this is probably Wallace's idea. I bet money, the last thing he wants is to face, you know, Wright in any capacity. Because the last time, uh, Wright and, uh, Wright and 
Waller went out with that last stand in week. He caught him with a, a silent dream super kick just out of nowhere. Just out of complete nowhere. Ooh, so just sending them straight down. Look at this. And now Young that using that straight through his advantage of whipping him hard up against that barricade. And he's going, going to get the fight down the ring. I mean, Sean hasn't even had a chance to take his shoulder off yet. Good grief. And here we go. Ooh. In the elbow. He's driving back into the ring. And he's kind of showing off here in front of Shaw. Now here we go. Now we're going to get back in the ring. Match is probably officially about to be on the way here. But Sean already, like, like he was waiting for him to get back in. Just to unload on him, but nope. I think Young using that strength to an advantage. And they're gonna use it now, take the time to just wear down Sean here. And I bet money, Titan Young, I bet money, I'm pretty sure he would want to win, you know, this this all-star championship tournament as well. So what if, the question is, what if, ooh, Young hits that powerful Simone drop. What if Young wins? Cause this is gonna be, cause from how the bracket set up, the winner of, Frost and, and Wallace, which was, you know, which was Wallace. Oh, maybe a count off these kids. That more about a skin of his feet. But anyway, the winner of that match was, is supposed to take on the winner of this match right here. So what if, you know, what if Young wins this thing? What is that really going to do for the relationship? Oh, that springboard stunned by Sean, taking out the big man. Here we go. Here's the cover. Two. And oh. Right, Sean was close, Sean was close, he was close, he almost moved on right there. He almost moved on right there, the bet money probably has eyes on what was in the background. I guess he probably wouldn't, I wouldn't stay focused on him. That's the thing, you know, you wouldn't want to stay focused on him because you got to worry about this guy on the inside. Wow, nice uppercut. And now Sean looks like he's about to start using some quickness here, start using some of that fast pace offense. They call him the nightmare for a reason. This dude. Got some pretty quick speed here. Take a minute to get up to the top row, but hey, look at that. Oh, and a splash in the middle row. Or from the top row. Now he's descending the middle row, dropping that elbow. Coming to form. Ooh, that's Larry. That's leg Larry by Sean. Taking down Young. And look at this. Oh, I sent it on. And Young getting in trouble here. I like how Wallace is taking this time to really kind of wear him down, but oh goodness, he got caught by Young and just absolutely just, just hard, hard, and Wallace is, you know, just kind of licking his chops here. I mean, having this big man backing you up, that's definitely something to, you know, I, I'll be proud about, you know. Ooh! Decking him with that clothesline, you Absolutely decking him with that clothesline. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe thinking Tyson Bomb, who knew? Ooh! Top of that uppercut, though. Say that much. John definitely caught him with that uppercut. Springboard under the air. Frog splash. Nice frog splash. And there we go. It was only a matter of time now. We knew it was only a matter of time before Wallace got involved in some capacity. And wait a minute. It looks like, looks like Wallace is about to go ahead and neutralize the threat that is Austin Wallace. going to throw him into the barricade. But, oh, from behind. Tyson Young with the knee straight to the back and he took his eyes off the prize, had Young where he wanted him, but now, now we gotta, now we gotta deal with this, this powerhouse known as Tyson Young. And who knows, maybe he may try to win this thing like his, his, uh, his handler, I guess, his, his I, don't, I don't know, like he, he's, a, he's an enforcer, so a bodyguard would say, so I guess his, his handler, I guess. Whatever it is. He may try to win it like he did, but apparently not, because he throws him right back in the inside the ring. And then picking him, letting him get back up to his feet, trying to go over that discus clothesline. Gets caught to the back of the head. Catching him dead on the back of the head. Heading out to the apron. Three more. Dropped it. Right to the face. Is that really trying to grab him? Got something there, and then work. Keeping his eye on Wallace. Young is slowly getting back up to his feet. Switches target. Silent dream. Super kick. 
That's one. Starting with the Silent Dream Super Kick. Maybe taking one more to put him away. Two Silent Dreams. And man, I think he got to be out after. Whoa! Bird. Don't get through alive. Hey, hey, Sean ain't gonna let the, that finish him though. I think maybe, maybe the kid the third time, maybe a charm. I mean, he got hit with two in a row. That could kick that out is saying something. But I think Sean got this thing. I mean, he's, ooh, he's, here we go. Drop kick, Sean, he's firing up here. He's ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Oh, nice form. Taking him down, drop kick in the corner. Crown in Chicago, feeling it. He's feeling it. Everyone's feeling it. We can call him up to his feet here. Maybe seeing that, seeing that springboard drop kick again. Oh, maybe not the drop kick, but he called him like a. Like he's trying to call him like a. Like he was trying to go for a set on or something. I don't know what he was going for, but whatever it was, it was. Let's believe it was effective. John is like he might, may end this thing here. John is just about end this thing. Look at this! Whoa! He gets countered! You been thinking Nightmare on Leaf? He gets countered! Look at this! Oh man. Oh man. Tyson Young. Got him up! Tyson Bomb got him! Puts him down! Here's the cover! One! Two! Oh! Wow! Oh! Wow! You wanna talk about cutting the clothes, bruh? That's cutting the clothes right there. Ooh. I see Young taking his head off though. But these guys are going out of here. I mean, hey, you got an opportunity to advance in a tournament that for a championship. Ooh! <laughs> that thing y'all have to get for coming in for his steam. Getting up to his feet though. Was he got popping? Oh! Is he trying to go for a clothesline or a cross body? One of the two. But either way, both men are down. Now, Sean's back up to his feet first. Before Young is going to go ahead and send him back inside the ring. I call him up to his feet. He got popping. Going to try that springboard again. There we go. That was it. There we go. Now we caught him. That time we caught him flush. Caught him dead on. That set on like moves. Strong right hand by Young. Going for a suplex. Nice suplex. Nice vertical suplex. By Young. Getting to the cover again. Here we go. One. Oh. Somehow Sean is still staying alive in this thing. We're making a lot of points. Oh, better go for a big boot. Here we go. That DDT. DDT is Sean feeling it. He may call this thing away. He may put this thing away. He got that distance. He got the distance on this one. Here we go. Silent Dream Super Kick for the third time. That got to be it, yo. That got to be straight up it, too. And Sean advances to the next round in a stellar match between both of these competitors here. Because look at this, I mean, you had Sean who had to use all of his speed, all of his quickness, he had to do all of that. And then here we go, he tried to get the, uh, the go for the pin off of the stunner, because he thought that he thought that would've been it. I mean, he got him, had him rattled, had him rocked a bit, but no, that wasn't the case. And then Tyson Young got a little bit of offense in as well during this contest, tried to go for that clothesline. That was a cover off of the Tyson Bomb. But then the Silent Dream Super Kick, three of them, puts him away. And Sean Wright picks up the win. Sean Wright picking up the victory. He advances to the next round. And now, wait a minute, it looks like he got his eyes on, uh, on Wallace here. These two guys are going to meet up next week. These two guys are going to meet next week. Going to stare him. Wallace down. Wallace is kind of backing down. He's not he's trying to get into a fight. He probably might just save it for next week. But Sean advances. Congratulations to Sean Wright. Hmm.
By that time, for the main event, and Nick Shields as part of Plan Z, I think the big and bad and all that fun jazz. He's gonna be taking someone they would not throw me away. I don't know who. I don't know who the ice has in mind. But whatever it is, I hope Nate Shields is ready because I think this is gonna be a stellar, stellar contest. And I, and I, know, I know the ice probably got somebody good. I mean, after what Nate Shields did, bro, please. After what Nate Shields was doing last week. But sitting there attacking him and doing all this other stuff. You know, I don't know what he did last episode. I mean, come on, you, you know, he has got something up his sleeve. It's probably coming out here alone. Well, hey, um, I guess that, that's kind of what he gets for uh, for letting, um, yeah, yeah. Watch well, going to have to keep eyes on the back of his head. Anyway, there was this. Death Street. Apparently, with the, from what we know about him, from, what, I mean, from research and whatever, he was a part of the uh, formerly known company known as Power 25, but now known as New Blood Wrestling. And I guess you know the owners of that company is still trying to get their uh, logistics and things worked out. But this guy apparently is a very accomplished competitor. Wow. Obviously coming in here with some, some fire, some passion, some energy about him. And I, and I wonder if Z.I. know what he's doing. I mean, I mean, I wonder if, if Z.I. know what he's doing. I mean, then again, he doesn't have a plan Z for nothing, so he must know, he must know exactly what he's, you know, what he's doing there. I mean, bringing his own from outside of, uh, of AOA to, to, to take care of Nick Shields, I mean, I mean that may that may speak to the uh oh I can she got locking eyes there for a minute. What was it? It may speak the you know, inability of maybe some of these AOA superstars, but then again, here here we go. I mean, this is the first time ever in AOA history we're seeing two guys, you know, from from different companies in the same building, in the same arena and destry and shield. Just tearing each other down here. I mean, really. I can't wait to get this thing going. Yeah, oh. Here we go. Here we go. The fight's on. Ooh. These two guys going at it. But Destry getting the upper hand. Destry unloading on shield. Well, I seem to dig him. Ooh. Now look at this. Look at my death is going in. Death is going in. Ooh. Top to the chest. Scoop plan taking down shield. I mean, I know, I know I'm kind of supposed to be AOA all the way here, but you know. Ooh. There we go. He's straight in the head. I, mean, I know I'm supposed to kind of be AOA all the way, and, you know, kind of supposed to be so a little bit of, you know, bias here. But they feel that. It's that Uranagi. You see him busting out that Uranagi. Picking Destry up and boom! Got straight to the head. I was about to be AOA all the way, but I mean, you really think about it, like just in a couple of weeks, the stuff that Nate Shield has already done, the stuff that Nate Shield and Monster together have both done in this entire roster. I mean, come on, how can I, how can I really, you know, Support this. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna really support that. And the referee going death to it all. Monster of the hand, you know. And then Helen Shield to get back in the ring, and he does. He'd be just, just slugging it out here. Ooh. 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 He's got to slug it and back and forth. Thanks for sending Shields off into the corner, putting them down with that clothesline. 
Look at this. I'm up. Oh, that net breaker by Deathly taking down Shield. Fit into the cover. Here we go. Two. Mm. Wow. Already. I guess this one's going to be nailing Shield with some high impact moves. I mean, you caught him with a clothesline, a couple of other things. And, and I wonder who the heck did he, you know, did he even talk to, you know, to, to even to get a hold of someone outside of AOA. I mean, all the time there's a contract issue and stuff like that, but hey, I guess he has nobody doing. I guess we call him a new straight in the mid section. Going up top now. That's a big goo going up there. Let's see if it works. And elbow drop down. Dead on. Caught him dead on. Right in the chest. Destro's on the roll. We got front face lock. Shields with that back trip though. Shields with that back trip and now looks like Shields would like to take control of this matchup. Hear that? Oh, a huge flash off into the corner. This is the first time we've seen Shields in one-on-one -on -one action. We saw him in tag team action last week with him monster. Ooh, picking up the victory over the club and then immediately the picker of the victory over the club became the new tag team champion. But now at this moment, AOA Tag Team Championships are vacated. And we're gonna find out who the, the champion will be in next level on nice flying clothesline. A shield taking Destry down. Look at this. Off the rope. Here we go. Blast. Huge blast straight to the midsection. Going for it again. No. Oh. Two splash straight to the midsection. Going straight for the cover. Here we go. One. Two. Ooh. Two cow. Shield thought he had that. Nope. Only a two, brother. Only a two. Ooh. Use the line taken down. Taking Desperate down. It looks like Shield kind of got this kid right where he wants him. And look at this. Got the, got the power ball to Desperate roll through. Desperate rolling through. Straight into the cover. Right, a little bit too long to get there. Two. Oh. That's no one had that one, Will. That's almost straight up had that one. Now driving the shoulder straight to the mid section. Ooh, hip attack. A huge hip attack by. Alright. Destry is taken down. Shield and Shield getting sent back to the outside this time. Destry is going to follow out after him. Look at it. Oh, trying to go for a set tone, overshot his target. I think he's back up. He's good to go. Maybe. Yeah, it's calculated there. Stuff like that happened. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna find her right into the barricade. Gonna throw him across the floor. That's three. A, not an AOA competitor, but was calling in by ZI for this particular purpose to ooh. To do what he gotta do to do his job. And, and I guess to punish. I mean, this is the guy who's using to punish. Nate Shields and that's just breaking the count. Good lord. Hard right here. Four arms taking him out. And that, oh, that's five and four taking him out. Wow. And they try to, ooh, try to, I was whooping. Oop, he's like, nah, bro, we good. And he dropped six three across the barricade. This has been a physical matchup up here. He was going up top. A minute. Through the air. Oh, elbow drop straight to the back. From the inside, back out, and to the floor. Wow. Uh, he is uh, just in trouble here. Oh, get his head rammed straight into the ring post. I forgot to count of three. Not gonna, look at this. Oh, God, the leg jumped right across the arm and the, the shoulder. Right there, remember that count of five. Let's see, man, got, got another five seconds to get back into the ring here. He was going to throw him into the apron. And then the count of seven. Oh, boom, cross again. Is that time kind of tossed him head first into the ring post. And now these two guys are really going to use the out, take this moment to use the outside of the ring as a weapon as they can. You know, they have 10 seconds to kind of do what they got to do. But. Oh, it's just ramming shield head first. Right into the 
the ring post. Bringing him back inside the ring. Pick him back up here. And you can probably continue the assault and heal. Heels counter. Ooh, hard right hand. Hard right hand again. It's desperate fight now. Slugging it with shields here. Look at this. Nice suplex. A vertical suplex by Destry. Taking down Shields. And Destry's firing up here in Chicago. And, and again, that's not crazy. That 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 Z has got someone outside of ALA to come in here and to basically beat down May Shields. Ooh. Then drop button shields open. And he was me straight to the face. Wow. A beat down of shields. It really was, it was just a, a bloody mess. And another fist drop. Looks like he's trying to open that wound up even more. You know, yeah, yeah he got that kind of good open. He, he got that wound clear open. Oh, man. The brutality of it all. Ooh. Another fish drop and kills him, baby. See it right now. Oh. Oh, it went for a double axe handle. Referee inadvertently got knocked down, but oh, man. Ooh. Gotta go for a neck snap. That didn't work. Oh, took it in. Taking death through his head off of that clothesline. Look at this. I got him. Around the neck. Toss him. Just absolutely just talking them here, there, and everywhere, talking them all across the ring. Look at this. Oh, that net breaker by Shield. Nice net breaker by Shield, and now going to work on Destry, just hammering them away. And I think Destry, yeah, Destry, Destry's now bleeding. Ooh. Oh, good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, we need, a, we need to get some help right here. These two guys are just beating them. So the sentiment here. Oh, really That's true. It's just a mess. And still continue just to pound on the bloody head of, of Destry. Oh, Lord. Look at this. Get him off into the corner. Ooh. There we go. Shot straight to the head. I got him close line. Destry is in trouble. That's where it's in some huge trouble here. A shield. Looks like he's about to call an end to this boy. He's about to call an end to this. Oh. I'm going to the back though. That's the kind of form. Going for a suplex again. Got him that now with that suplex. I'm definitely trying to figure out what to do next. How can I punish this guy? Even more from here. Look at that. Oh, nice jawbreaker. Count him up. You're going to have to take death tree. To the inside. Took him there. Driving him on the back of his head and neck. Good grief. Get into the cover. Here we go. One. Two. Oh. <laughs> death tree somehow kicked out. That just continues. This, this is matchup continues. And Shields is trying to, ooh. Oh, Shields is trying to give him a straight up concussion here. And we got him up. Go for it again. Thinking about it again. Gets countered. Straight into the DDT. Straight into that DDT. That's just killing it. He's ready to rock and roll. Ooh, he's right here. He's going in. Ooh, that's taking a back. Hard shot to the back. Oh, the clothesline taking his head off. That's through that clothesline and taking Shield's head clean off his shoulder. And that's through now. The confidence is slowly growing as they beaten, bloody down, just battered Nate Shield. Slowly getting back up just for Destry to put him right back down. These two guys have been the first off the show. This has been a fight and a half here between these two just dim gentlemen. And look at this. The fisherman driver dropping him straight on his head and neck. Straight into the cover here. Oh god. One, two, ooh. 
Word. Yoga's still alive. Yoga's still alive in this thing. Look at this. Oh, wait, trying to go for something. Ooh, nice counter. Nice counter. Nice counter by Death Tree. Oh, he's about to break Shield in half. He's potentially about to break Shield completely in half. Oh, he tried. Tried to. Tried to. He got countered. Wait a minute. He tries. He can go on. Oh. Triple drivers. Here we go. Ooh, second one. And it's third. Yeah, the here. Ooh, that like hitting the ropes and everything. He had all the wrong landings. That's just about to go in. But that spear. Breaking him in half. Completely breaking him in half. We he tried, we see him try to hit it earlier. We saw him try to hit the spear earlier. Oh, yeah, firing up. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's see what we got. Look at it. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh! You slow fly taking his head off. You gotta kill each other. You just gotta absolutely kill each other. Taking him up high overhead, taking him to the asylum. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is physical. My goodness, this is absolutely physical. You two guys are just going completely at it. Here we go. Heels and fire firing up here. Look at this. Wait a minute. This counter. Oh! It's cracking the face. And Destry now is starting to fire up. Here we go. Coming in there. Coming in here like a house of fire. Face buster. Ooh. Head bouncing off the turnbuckle and everything. He got all the wrong land. Look at this. Fisherman Buster. Yo, that's the main leader. The best thing is to roll up in here. On the air with, oh, hold on. He's caught. Ooh. Head taking off. Head taking clean off. And they're head taking off of that one. That clothesline. They're going to be taking off of this thing. He's counted again. Here we go. Ooh. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Take this out. Oh. Triple John. Triple John it again. That just looks like he's about to close this thing. Here we go. Cradle. Shoot. No. He is not letting him get that. He is sort of just not letting him get that whatsoever. He's not letting him get it. He gets this though to the asylum again. I don't know how many trips this dude's taking. But man, this dude's head is probably ringing right now. Straight into the cover. He kicks that one there. One, two. Oh my. Wow. Joe, I don't know who they got. I don't know who the guys that they were talking to. But this is a thing. This is absolutely insane. Getting right up in his face. Two beaten, battered, and bloody warriors here. Just going absolutely off. He's going to get straight off here. He's sending him over the top. And check this out. That's three. Up in the top row. Gonna try hitting his elbow drop again. He missed the first time. Got it that time. Straight on the face. You're free. Straight on the head and face. And Destry now just got this dude exactly where he wants it. I mean, I'm doing the business announcement, but oh god. Oh god. This is not about to be a fun day in the neck of the woods. The one Nate heals. And then did the announcement. Here we just to do this and use it. To do damage, just to bounce his head off the announced table again. Got a counter fish, gonna sling him back into the inside. Amen. Look up. 
Waiting on the shield. Oh, he's trying to go for a drop kick. I'm up a tad bit short there. Oh, uh, this shot. He's in a mouth. He's got him. And this has been a war. These guys have been a straight up war with each other. And wait a minute. Once again. And he's going to get it. Two. And three. Oh, here we go. I think that's the feel for this can be it. He can end this thing right here. Look at this. Got him up. Oh. Just dropping him. That cradle. Power dropper. Dumping seal right onto his head. Two. And three. Plan V was a success. Plan Z was an absolute success of Vestry picking up the win over Nate Shield. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It looks look like the monster is making his way down the ring here. And wait a minute, we still have a we still have a referee here. And wait a minute, 24-7 rule do apply and look at this Vestry. Beaten battle bloody and all gonna go ahead and take the fight from Monte here. 24-7 rule is still applicable and Vestry is going ahead and putting Monte straight to work here. We still have a referee in the ring. Ooh, you shot straight to the back. You shot straight to the back and Monte gonna use his field step. The punish gesture here. Shot straight to the midsection. And, and what the heck was Monster Point coming out here? Maybe the new 24-7 rule still applied. I guess he ain't got no fear. Oh no. Oh no. Look at this. Oh, yeah. You don't talk about breaking someone in half. I think spearing someone to a barricade is breaking someone in half. Oh gosh, man. All they just, just fear and dexterity. And just straight through the end. And bro, he's not even an active AOA competitor. Dexterity is not even an active AOA competitor. And that, so does the 24-7 rule still apply? To him, anyways? I mean, anyone. I mean, see, I did say anyone at any time, anywhere can take advantage. And, oh, God. Just drove his head straight into the canvas, straight into the cover. One, two, and oh my. Wow. How in the world is How in the world is Destiny even anywhere close to being in it? I mean, he went through a war. An absolute vicious, violent, and bloody war with, with, with Nate Shield. And, ooh. And that side slam. That side man now throwing him face first right into the table. Oh God, that shit is, is beating senseless there. That shit has been beaten absolutely senseless there. Throwing him straight into that table. Look at this. That's your counter. You got monster on the table. Oh God. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Hard right hand. Trouble trying to take him down. Oh God. Monster died in phase by that one. Monster died in phase. Got him thrown to the table. Oh! One chest three grip first. Straight to the table. Here's the cover. Two. Oh, wow. Yo. That's three is a tough one, God. Like, you cannot deny. That's three is one tough one, God. I don't, I don't even know where, who he is, where he came from. I don't know any of that. But, man, if you're going to. Hang in there with some of the caliber of Nate Seal. And then the world champion himself. Monster comes out and you still doing what you gotta do, bro. I, I will give you all the props in the world. Oh man, this spine just absolutely buckling off that announce table. And, oh, he's straight to the face. Oh, sending him over the barricade now. That knee sending Monster straight over the barricade, but Dexter is going to continue to bring the fight to him, and he sends him right back over. 
I'm desperate now getting some strikes in. Some guys. Goes over, over, goes over the barricade and inside. Now I'm going to stay right out here with the champ. <clears throat> Rip first. Right into that. Right into the the, the announce table here. Monster's right there. Monster's right there. Death, he's trying to use the step. Throw that clubber in hand. Send him straight over. Oh, gosh. Send him back over. And now Destry and Monster are right out here in front of Right out here on the floor. Ooh. Man, I'm straight on the step. Good job. I'm going now. I got the still steps in the head. Still stare straight in the head. Hey, guys. So, that's true. We, we can have someone who is a non AOA participant potentially walk out here with the AOA World Champion. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. I really, really don't. <laughs> Good grief. Oh no. Oh my goodness. No. Wait a minute. Yo. That's your Oh my goodness. No. Look at this. The cradle pile driver. Bully monster. Through the announce table. Throwing him back inside. Yo. 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 This is about to be insane. If Dexter is able to pull this off, here's the cover to it. Oh, oh my, yo, Dexter thought he had that. Here we go. We got one last ace in the hole. One last ace in the hole. Don't forget that elbow drop. Got it. Gets the elbow drop. Dexter is on fire. Dexter is on fire. He can walk out of here. He can potentially walk out of here. AOA world champion. He's firing up monster reeling. Slams him straight on all the broken pieces of the table. Just on all the broken pieces of this table. And look, oh no. Oh no. He's got to go for that. Oh no. Oh my goodness. That huge choke slam. My monster just putting him down the hard way. Man, I think Monster's about to close this thing out here, bro. Monster's about to close this thing out. That leaping tombstone pile driver. Robin Destro on his head. And this dude's been to a war. I give him credit, but yo, I think that's it. Oh, wait! Yo, how? How in the world is he still hanging in there? Now, look at this. Oh, he's power slammed. That huge, vicious power slam. Sending him down. This Juranagi. Hates him down. Oh, I don't know what the freaking war zones is going out here. What the freaking war zones is happening out here? I mean, now we got a steel bait. Now we got a steel. Got a baseball bat in hand. Ooh, straight to the rib. Straight to beating Jesse down repeatedly with his baseball bat. Oh my god. Good god. That's what we've been doing for the fight and a half here. Going off for everybody. Oh no, not the bat, yo. No, calm down, not on the bat. Oh! Turn that leaping tombstone. Turn on to the bat. Here's the cover. Oh my goodness. That, yo, that. Yeah. Martha win, Martha is still your AOA world champion. Now I give credit where credit is due. That's true. Even though we jump up to that absolute war, but Nate Shield still came out here and tried to do what he could do, but it was just all too much. And that's it for this episode. Plans he was a success, and with Nate Shields got hurt, but Martha still the world champ. And that's it for this episode. If you can, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other video on the streams on this channel. Spread the word. Spread the word about this channel. Until next time I see you, you got to be a boss. And I'll holler at you guys later. Will anyone have luck next week? We'll find out.